huge nuclear drama just started in the Honkai Star Rail community because of Hoyaverse's new decision to allow specific content creators to release videos of unreleased characters up to a week early. On the morning of March 20th, 2024, several content creators such as Brax, Xlice, Fob, Zeox, Sevi, Doggo and Ewin Tolosegaming released videos on the unreleased five-star lightning nihility character Acheron. She is the most hyped character in Honkai Star Rail history, so obviously a lot of people are going to watch guides on how to build her. Well, the messed up part is that Hoyoverse unfairly gave these seven content creators a one-week head start by allowing them to release their guides on YouTube on March 20th. Hoyoverse is ruining the livelihood of many guide makers, myself included, by allowing a small number of content creators to release their guides before the official release of a character. The general public does not care about who is making the guide and will only watch one guide for a specific new character. The content creators in this specific program have an unfair advantage because Hoyoverse allows them to release their Acheron guides a week in advance and will not allow any other content creator to react or re-upload any of their early access footage. You can imagine that if your only source of income is making guide videos on newly released characters in Honkai Star, you would be very annoyed by this change. You would lose a large amount of views on your guide that comes out one week later because by next week the hype would die down and viewers would not watch these late guides as they have already seen the guides that were released by the hand-chosen Hoyoverse creators. This is a terrible time for Hoyoverse to test this content creator test server because everyone is going to be pulling for Acheron and everyone is going to be watching a guide on how to build her. Everyone except these seven content creators will receive fewer views on their guides and, as a result, will make less money on their videos, which could result in them having to take on another job or find another source of income. This would be bad because then you would have guide makers who could not dedicate enough time to creating guides. Hoyoverse can also control the narrative of upcoming characters because they have the final say on what content creators can put out on YouTube. This is really anti-consumer, because if an unreleased character is bad, Hoyoverse can force content creators to not reveal this fact in their pre-release guide videos. Free-to-play players will be heavily misinformed because content creators will not clearly tell them if the new limited banner character is good to spend your stellar jades on, or if you should skip the new character and wait for an even stronger character. Hoyoverse is censoring content creators because now they cannot say what they actually feel about a character in their guide videos. This is a huge disaster because now Hoyoverse can get away with releasing terrible characters and you would not even know if you only watched the guides of the ones Hoyoverse has control over. Hoyoverse made it so that other content creators could not even react to the videos released on Acheron. Hoyoverse even stated that they would copyright strike videos that were reused or re-uploaded with content on Acheron. Three copyright strikes on YouTube mean that your channel is terminated, which would ruin the lives of content creators because then they would lose their only source of income and you would lose a great guide maker. By not allowing content creators to react to Acheron videos, smaller content creators do not even have a chance. The chasm between smaller and larger content creators just got larger because now even fewer people would choose to watch an Acheron guide one week after a much larger content creator had already created a video for them to watch. Hoyoverse should allow every content creator to at least react to footage of unreleased characters so that they can make videos about them. Without this, only a small number of content creators control the narrative, which is controlled by Hoyoverse. Multiple channels will die because they will get much lower views for releasing their guide one week later. It will even alienate the guide making community because content creators will realize that Hoyoverse favors specific content creators over others. Several content creators are already very angry at Hoyoverse for implementing this and the community generally sides with the content creators. Furthermore, Hoyoverse naively thinks that this will stop leaks because people will be more inclined to watch official videos which will suddenly disincentivize leakers from leaking unreleased content. This will not be the case because leakers do not even get this unreleased content information from betas. 
You can see this for yourself with Acheron being leaked way before the patch 2.1 beta. Leaks will not stop, so not allowing content creators to react to official footage of unreleased characters is pointless. The best way to curb leaks is by making a public beta where most people can join, test out unreleased characters, and make videos on them without the fear of being copyright striked by Hoyoverse. Hoyoverse was also rumoured to be testing this for Genshin Impact, which means that even more content creators will be affected because Genshin Impact is the older game, so more content creators are creating videos on it. Hoyoverse used to incentivize small content creators to make videos with Prima Gems, Stellar Jades and actual money before this test server program. Now Hoyoverse is making it harder for small creators to stay relevant because they do not get special privileges to access the content creator test server and post videos on unreleased characters. Leaks will not be affected at all because the full leaks for character kits come during the beta and the content creator test server footage is only allowed to be released after the live stream, which provides official information on characters. Leaks will come out way before betas, and major leaks will come out during betas, both of which will not be counteracted by Hoyoverse in any way, because the content creator test server footage cannot even be released at that time. People who look at leaks are still going to have the same issues as before because the leakers are going to be the ones who reveal unreleased information first. On the other hand, people who want to make content on leaks will have the same issues as before because Hoyoverse does not allow them to create videos on unreleased characters. Hoyoverse has not actually even attempted to do anything to stop leaks because they mainly come through insider information or people in the company. However, they did a lot to cut a lot of the pointless leaks to a certain degree. The content creator community is now divided with some content creators saying that the content creator test server is not actually a bad thing because Hoyoverse is in fact not actually controlling the narrative and opinions of creators videos. On the other hand, content creators who were not invited to the content creator test server are unhappy because their jobs are at risk since they are not allowed to release content on unreleased characters and cannot even react to other creators' content on said characters. Personally, I believe that Hoyoversa is reviewing content and can have a say if the video is too egregious. So, Hoyoverse is still censoring content creators and controlling the narrative, no matter what these other content creators say. This is the second huge Hoyoverse drama of the year, with the first being the 13 Primagems given to players for Genshin Impact's anniversary during Lantern Rite. Robin's kit was revealed to me recently. I go over the crumbs in this video on screen now.